This is Karen Scharf with Modern Image Communications and I would like to share some article marketing tips to get you started. Now it's true that article marketing is great for driving traffic to your website but you can still utilize it even if you don't have your website up and running yet. By distributing your articles offline you'll begin to make a name for yourself in your local community or your specific niche. So let's move on to the tips. You want to start by doing your keyword research. Before you even start writing your article, do a bit of keyword research since you want your article to be found in the search engines. But here's a bit of a sticking point when it comes to article keywords. Long tail keywords are great for Google traffic, but regular keywords are better for getting found in the article directories. It's kind of a catch-22. So here's my recommendation. When you're first starting out in article marketing, use regular words. This will allow webmasters and newsletter publishers to find you easily. And then once they get used to your name and your writing style and the quality of your articles, they will start searching for you by author's name. And then at that point, you can start going long tail. Next, use your keywords. And no, I'm not being sarcastic here. I've consulted with a lot of entrepreneurs who thought that a web page or an article or a PPC ad was optimized for a particular keyword when in fact it was not at all. And the biggest reason is that they just weren't sure what to do with the keywords once they found them. So for article marketing, you want to put your keywords in your article title as close to the beginning of the title as possible, just like you do for a web page. And then you want your words to appear as close to the beginning of your first paragraph as possible. Then repeat it one time in your first paragraph and you want it to appear one time in each of your following paragraphs, but only as long as you can do it naturally. Because the thing with article marketing is that publishers don't have to pick up your article. So if it sounds forced or mechanical or sales pitchy, it just won't get published. So quality is a lot more important than keyword quantity. And then you want to publish your article yourself first. This is another huge step that many entrepreneurs forget. It's natural to get so excited about a great article that you just wrote and then you want to spread it all over the place and start distributing it right away. But wait, give your readers first dibs and take advantage of all the hard work and effort that you just put in. Publish the article in your own newsletter first or on your own blog first and then start distributing it elsewhere. We generally distribute our articles a week or so after they've been published in our own newsletter. And be sure to create a great author's bio box. Your author's bio box is the only place that you get to quote unquote sell your business. So you want it to be very powerful. Personally, we have several different bio boxes that we use for different applications and we switch them out accordingly. But whatever you do, you want to make sure that your bio box, which is also known as the resource box, you want it to be benefits rich and very compelling. And then finally, distribute your article online. Now, even if you don't have a website yet, I still suggest that you publish your article online. You'll be setting yourself up as an expert and then you'll have instant status when your site does go live. Plus, you'll then be able to add those articles to your website so you'll have instant content. I do recommend that you publish your articles to ezinearticles.com because they are the most widely known article directory. It's super easy to create an account. Just click the Join Now button in the top right corner and be sure to read all of the editorial guidelines and the agreements. And you also want to distribute your articles offline. Article marketing isn't just for the web. Once you have your article written, be sure to send it to offline sources as well. There are tons of local and niche publications that are just craving high quality content. Just make sure that your article can't come off at sales pitchy in any way at all. Again, this is Karen Scharf with ModernImage.com and I invite you to download the many free reports and checklists that we have available to help entrepreneurs grow their business. You can grab them all at ModernImage.com.